Hey, what's up, everybody? Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com. We are here at my gym, Primal Athlete Training Center, and I realized recently that I never did a video showing you the completed throwing area that we have here in the gym. Um, we've gotten some questions on YouTube about it. I've gotten a lot of emails directly to me, so I'm just going to show you kind of a quick um, like where it is in the gym, how much space it takes up, how we rigged up the net system and how we rigged up the tarp system, why it's all there. Should hopefully only be like a two minute video. So for those of you who have been asking, here's how we got it all set up. Okay, to, so to give you an idea, I am in the back corner of my gym. So the gym is a gigantic rectangle. You see all the way down there is the garage door. We've got all the power racks and stuff here. But if you start walking toward this little yellow well, not little, but this big yellow tarp. That is our throwing area. So the gym is 80 feet long. This stretch of turf is 80 feet long. And we are, I believe, 55 feet wide. So this right here, if you take a look, the dark gray square is 10 foot by 10 foot. That's how we fit the discus circle and the shot circle inside. We've shown that to you in a previous video. What we've done is we've bolted right into the ground. We've drilled into the ground you know, so we can bolt and unbolt the tow board. You can see the anchor over here actually broke the other day. So this anchor used to be kind of looks like one of these guys. It's like one of the things that you would use in drywall but it just broke in half. But the screw goes right down in there. Now it pops right out. I gotta fix that. But drilled right into the concrete and boom you can put the screw, screw it right down in there. So really all this takes up, just to show you, you can see it's probably like an 11 foot by 10 foot rectangle, or maybe that's yeah, probably closer to like 13 by 10 rectangle because you've got behind the wall here. So to show you how we hung this, because this is the number one question we get, is how did we actually hang this? Hopefully we can see this because we've got two fluorescent lights. I'm gonna blind you guys. So we've got two fluorescent lights that go right in between. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and show you. If you take a look, our ceiling has these metal joists or beams or whatever you wanna call it. So we've got these metal beams that go across the ceiling. And what I did is, see if I can get a good shot of this. If you see right there, there is a black pipe that I got from Home Depot. I believe it's two inch black pipe. It's the uh, threaded black pipe, it's 10 feet long. And on each side right here, see if I can zoom in, I put a 45, a 90 degree uh, piece and a little six to 12 inch piece on the end. Kind of like if you can imagine like a curtain rod in your home, or if you have like a sliding glass door in your home, here's the other one right there. If you have a sliding glass door in your home, you would hang a curtain down in front of it. And then all I did at first was I took some climbing rope, so it's real heavy duty climbing rope, and I just sort of went along this net. Now this is batting cage net. You can get this online. So I just went through, and I'll show you here. Kind of threaded it right through. You can see all the way up. When it was on the ground, obviously we did this. All the way up and then all the way across the top and all the way down on the other side. And then I took another piece and just did the rigging. Like you can see right here, we rigged it up and just sort of spun it around the top of that pole. Now we've gotten creative over time. The net we found out was a little bit too springy. So it was going into the net and then hitting the cinder block wall behind it that you see right there. So what we did was we went to tractor supply and we got one of these tarps. This is one of their waterproof, sometimes they call it duck cloth, and it's got the little eye holes in it right here. So we attached a couple carabiners up top. Let me see if I can get a good shot. Sorry about that. Doing this really like, see that carabiner right there in the middle of your screen? 
So we got a carabiner and we attached it to the eye hole. And then what ended up happening was after the first year, it ripped. So now the ripped one, we have folded in half behind the tarp and doubled it up. So now it's twice as thick, pretty much halfway up. And then we got another piece of duck tarp or duck cloth or whatever you call it and put it in front. So as you can tell, we've kind of got almost a triple layer out of these two tarps. And then to make everything hold up a little bit better, you'll see underneath I have old punching bags that I got off Craigslist. These were like $20 per bag, like super cheap on Craigslist. And all I've really done is just put them down underneath the net for weight. So we've got net, we've got one tarp folded in half, kind of doubled up, and then we've got the other tarp that goes on it. One thing I did forget to mention is that when we did put up this second piece of tarp, so I showed you how there was a tarp in the back. The old tarp is the one that's folded in half and hanging behind. The new tarp is in the front. Excuse my Boston accent, my, the top, the tarp is in the front. When we had to put that tarp up, all we did was we took this two ropes, we got a black, really thick black rope right here that we've put around a carabiner. It goes over and then we have it actually in the ground. Very similar to, let me see if I can get this on camera, very similar to how we bolt the tow board in the ground. Right here, we have bolted this eye hook in the ground. So we drilled into the ground, we put in one of those anchors and then we drilled, uh, I'm sorry, we uh, screwed this little eye hook, eye bolt, and then we've got a spring-loaded carabiner right here, and that spring-loaded carabiner is all tied up right there in a knot. Goes all the way up, this black rope all the way up, and then it connects to the corner 